As a designer, you definitely want to increase your passive income, which means you can still earn money anytime without having to work on a design project. And when you take a vacation, the money will continue to flow into your wallet. It's like an investment, but you don't need to use your money as investment capital. You are a designer, have a more valuable asset, namely your artwork. You can use it as an investment tool, which can flow money into your wallet anytime and anywhere. One way to earn passive income as a designer is to sell your designs on master bundles. I'm not trying to say that this is the only one but I emphasize that this is only one of the many marketplaces on the internet that you can use to earn extra money and passive income. It won't hurt to try these master bundles. Because this is a non-exclusive marketplace, which means, you can sell your designs here and on other marketplaces at the same time. The more marketplaces you use to sell your designs, the more opportunities to earn more money, right? What's even more interesting about these master bundles, is that you can get 50% commission from your sales. Let's say you sell your design bundle for $10, and you'll get $5 for every sale. It's very promising isn't it? You don't have to bother thinking about promoting your own product, because the team from Master Bundles will promote your product or design effectively on various platforms. You only need to prepare your products for sale in Master Bundles, such as graphic assets, fonts, add-ons, templates, and stock content. And after you upload it, the team from Master Bundles will moderate it. After your product is online, you don't need to do anything and just wait for the sales results. You can go on vacation without thinking about working on a design project to make money, it's just that easy. Now, I'm going to show you how I created a colorful glitter background design in Illustrator, and prepared several designs to make a glitter background bundle that ready for sale on Master Bundles. After that I will show you how to upload the design in Master Bundles. Okay, let's jump into Adobe Illustrator. First, I will show you how to create the first gold glitter background like this. I'll start with the easiest first. Prepare a document with a size of 1920 by 1080 pixels, with RGB color mode. Remember, if you want the same result you have to set the document to RGB format. I have prepared this color palette first. In order to shorten this tutorial, you can get the color palette that I used in this tutorial in the description. Create a rectangle with the same size as the artboard using the rectangle tool. Open the gradient tool in the window menu. Choose a radial gradient. Then left click on the color stop on the left. Then activate the color picker below it. Next, choose a lighter orange color in the palette I've prepared. Do the same for the color stop on the right. Choose a darker orange. After this gradient step is done, it's time to give it a gold glitter effect. While this rectangle is still selected, go to the effect menu. Go down to texture and select the grain. In this texture grain panel, all you have to do is fill in the intensity value with 60, while the contrast with 80. For the grain type, choose soft, and click OK. Now we have finished the background with a gold glitter effect. For the next glitter, I'll just vary the gradient. Of course to create a new background we no longer need to start from scratch. We just have to duplicate this artboard and rectangle together. To do so, just activate the artboard tool on the toolbar. For duplicate commands, press and hold the Alt key if you are using Windows and the Option key if you are using a Mac. Click and drag to the right. This is the most simple and fast way if you want to duplicate the artboard and artwork at once. Now we just need to modify this second background. Of course by selecting it first, then open the gradient panel. Select the linear gradient and change the angle to 45 degrees. Duplicate the color stop on the right, by pressing the Alt, or Option, and drag. Change its location to 20. For the next step, I want to expand this gradient panel to make it easier for me to modify the next color stops. Next, duplicate the left color stop by pressing Alt, or Option on the keyboard and dragging it to the right of the second color stop. Change the location to 22. Next. Duplicate again this dark orange color stop, to the center, by holding down Alt or Option while dragging. Change the location to 40. Duplicate the light orange color stop to the last color stop, and change the location to 42. Do the same with the dark orange color stop at 60, and the light orange to 62. The next color stops are at positions 80 and 82.
and we're done with the second gold glitter background. Duplicate the second artboard again by activating the artboard tool first. Press and hold the Alt or Option key, left click and drag. For this third background, I will only make a few modifications to the gradient type. Open the gradient panel. Change the gradient type to radial. Open the gradient tool in the toolbar. Hold down click and drag this little black square towards the outside of the artboard to adjust the size of this radial gradient. And done. Now we have created three background with gold glitter effect using only grain and color gradient. The rest, you can experiment with the gradient color by changing the gradient type, angle, gradient color, and color stop. Okay, next I will show you how to create a glitter background with different styles like this. The technique I use is still the same as before by using gradients but with a different effect. Now we start by creating a new document with a size of 1920 by 1080 pixels. Create a rectangle with the rectangle tool. This time I used a different color, for the color code you can get it in the description. Now open the gradient panel and set it to radial gradient. For the color stop on the left, give it a lighter purple color in the palette that I have prepared. Then dark purple for the color stop on the right. Resize the radial gradient using the gradient tool. Drag the black square out of the artboard to increase the size of the gradient. Now we move to the next step. Create another rectangle of the same size. And give it a black color from the swatches panel. We create this new rectangle to put the glitter effect. So just open the effect menu. Sketch. And select, reticulation. Density 15, and let the rest be 0. Click OK. Open the transparency panel in the window menu. And change the color mode from normal to color dodge. And we have finished creating the glitter background with different effect and style. Then you can play with gradient and colors to create different background variations. Here I have made 30 backgrounds with glitter textures that are ready to be uploaded to Master Bundles. Before I head to the Master Bundles website I want to show you what you need to prepare before uploading your bundles. The first is the title of your product bundle. The second is two preview images. The first preview image must have the name or title of your bundle product, and the second is other important information that describes your bundle product, both with a size of 1100 by 1100 pixels. You have to prepare all your designs in a zip file. And the important thing so that your product bundle is easy to find is to give it a description that clearly describes your product with the right keywords. Okay, now let's jump to the Master Bundles website. And if you want to sell your design in the form of bundles here you have to register first. After you are registered you can open the account page. On this page you can directly add a product by clicking, Add Product, or, Submit Product. If you are a beginner and this is your first time on Master Bundles, you can watch this video first to find some information on how to sell products on Master Bundles. If you scroll down, you will find this section, where in this section you can fill in the product title. As I prepared earlier, I just copy and paste it. The tip is to try to make a product title that can make buyers interested in your product, and try to make your product title describe your product well. Next, I just need to fill in the first preview image with an image that has the title of this product, like a thumbnail for your bundles. Next, fill in the second thumbnail. Just click to input the zip file containing your designs. And this add media section, is also the most important part to present your product. You can include an image, or video here, or a YouTube link that explains in detail the product you are selling, such as an explanation of how to use your product, and what are the advantages of your product. This is the same as creating sales ads, that can boost your sales performance. As you can see here there are still some ad buttons below it, so you can add some videos or pictures that you made to attract the attention of buyers to buy your product. There is also a Pinterest image here. And the section below is the product description. I just copy the description that I made earlier. In this description, you can input the right keywords to describe your product in detail. I think this is related to SEO which can help clients or prospective buyers find your product in search engines. And for addition, you can also fill in the most appropriate product tag. And what I like most on this page, is the customize your search engine listing column, where its function is to optimize your product on search engines, 
Make your product name as unique as possible and different from other similar products. Don't forget to fill in the description for the URL address. Be as short as possible but can explain your product precisely. Then save. After you fill in all viewer images, media, Pinterest images, descriptions, product tags, search engine listings, and of course your products, then add a category. Then the last step is to fill in the license prices. Of course, don't choose free because you won't get anything. So make sure the paid option. And for the price of your product, starting with a personal price which is, the lowest price, for the product that I have made I give it a price of $10 the same as in the title I have given. Furthermore, the extended price is definitely more expensive than the commercial and personal price, and for the old price, you can give an even higher price. But, if you don't know the exact price of your product, then you just need to click on this, auto pricing. The system will automatically calculate the value of your product. Furthermore, for additional information, you can fill in the color and file type properties. Put a check mark for the privacy policy and terms and conditions. And, your product is ready to go online. After you are sure and there is nothing left, you just need to click, publish. And lastly you just have to wait and don't need to do anything else. You just have to monitor how much income you get on the account and earning page. What do you think? Very easy isn't it? So don't miss to immediately sell your bundles designs on this website, masterbundles.com. I have provided the link in the description. So see you in the next video.